I'm Rosalie Brown. Welcome to the Leg Magic Pulse Workout. I designed this workout in a circuit training format, meaning we'll move from exercise to exercise in 30 second intervals. One of the great things about Leg Magic Pulse Training is that you can start out with just a few reps of each exercise and then progress to more reps as you become stronger and more fit. You can alternate this Leg Magic Pulse workout with your basic Leg Magic workout three to five times a week for variety and great results. Now before we get started, let's go over a few guidelines that will make your workout safer and more effective. First, make sure when you start out, start out slowly, progress sensibly. You don't have to overdo it to get great results. Take breaks whenever you need them and gradually work up to doing the whole workout. Always work out at a level that is right for you and modify any movement that aren't appropriate for you. Realize that some exercises and progressions may not be suitable for you right away. Be patient and perfect the basic movements before moving on to more advanced variations. Set up your leg magic exerciser according to the instructions in your owner's manual. Read all the warning labels and place it on a level surface with plenty of clearance around you. When entering and exiting the leg magic exerciser, step on it slowly with one leg at a time and hold on to your handlebars with both hands. When stepping into the leg magic exerciser, move slowly as the foot pedals do move when you're entering or exiting the machine. To exit, stop the movement of the foot pedals, keep a firm grip on the handlebar and exit one foot at a time. Use slow and controlled movements during all exercises. Do not lean forward or push down on the handlebars as this could make the leg magic exerciser unstable, which could result in injury or death. Maintain good posture with your hands firmly but lightly gripping the handlebar. If you're a beginner to the pulse resistance, you should hold the handlebar at all times while exercising on the leg magic exerciser. If you are advanced, I'll show you where you can release the handlebar during the exercise routine. If you get tired or become unstable at any time while on the leg magic exerciser, you should immediately place your hands back on the handlebar for better support and balance. Keep a towel handy to wipe perspiration off the handlebar and foot pedals, because if they become slippery, you may lose your footing or slip and that could result in injury. Wear comfortable workout clothing that does not restrict your movement. You should always wear flexible athletic shoes to support and protect your feet. Do not perform the Leg Magic Pulse workout with bare feet or socks or stockings, as this will cause slippage of the feet on the foot pedals and result in injury. We'll alternate between exercises performed on your Leg Magic and exercises done on the floor. So make sure you have plenty of clearance space around you so you can move easily. And finally, remember that the Leg Magic Exerciser is not a toy. Children should not use this or any other fitness equipment. Now, are you ready to work out? Let's get started. Body by stepping side to side. Beginners, you're gonna go through one cycle of the workout, intermediate, two cycles of the workout, and the most advanced, you'll be doing three cycles of the workout. So just step side to side. Try to step as wide as your leg magic. Get a nice, deep knee bend. Activate the muscles in your thighs. Looking good. In four and three, two. All right, let's step onto your leg magic and let's do the basic glide. So you're just gonna sweep in and out. In and out and in and out. Good. Nice. Feel those pulse resistance. Really squeeze and press. Pull and press, pull and press. Good job. So your basic glide means you're working in a full range of motion. Looking good. Stand nice and tall. Support your abs. In four and three and two and one, carefully step off. Now let's step side to side. And this time, pull your arms. And pull and pull. Good job. Nice. Keep those steps nice and wide. Reach those arms. You got it. Let's get that heart rate up. The higher your heart rate, the more calories you're gonna burn. Good job. And step, and step. Nice. Here we go. In four, and three, 
two. Let's go back on the leg magic. This time we're gonna do the inner thigh pulse. So you're gonna really squeeze those legs tight in towards the center of your leg magic. So this is really gonna activate the muscles on the inner thighs. So really pull in, small and tight. Great job. Feel those muscles working. Inner thigh, there you go. Keep pulsing, awesome. In four and three, two and one, glide out. Step off, this time we're gonna flex back. So step and flex and flex. Good job. Take it side to side. Keeping that heart rate up, burning calories, nice. A great low impact workout, beautiful. Side to side, keep it wide. Pump and pump in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get back onto the leg magic. This time, we're gonna do an outer hip and thigh pulse. So you're pulsing wide near the outer ends on the leg magic. So you're targeting more of the outer hip and thigh area. Great job. Keep pulsing. Nice. And push and push. Think about the muscles that we're activating. Great job in four and three and two and one. Carefully step off. We're gonna flex back and this time pull the arms with your flex back. So just adding more upper body movement. Great, give me a nice range of motion. Activate lots of muscle, perfect. And this side to side action helps to release some of those muscles that were just really challenging on your leg magic. Great job, pull and pull. Here we go in four and three and two and one. Back on your leg magic. Here we go, ready to work those buttocks? Squeeze for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And squeeze, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze, two, three, four, five, six. Again, squeeze, two, three, four, five, six. And squeeze, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, squeeze, two, three, four, five, six. Release, squeeze, two, three, four, five, six. All right, step off. And let's do a knee repeater. So just pump and pump and pump. Good job, good job. Lift, work your upper body, work your leg in four and three and two and switch. Up and up and lift, good. Lift, lift. Here we go, here we go. Pump it through. Last four, three, two and one. All right, beginners, this is your last cycle on your leg magic. You're gonna give me a light grip with your basic glide. So you can keep your hands near your handle, but just try to lighten your grip. This challenges the muscles a little bit more. And if you have the courage, take them off. You can place them on your hips. But again, work within your own comfort level. So light grip. Beginners, you're almost there. Stay with me. Four, and three, and two, and one. Good job, beginners. Now, beginners, stay with me, and just cool down with a gentle side-to-side -side action. Intermediates and advance. We're on our second cycle. You're still with me. Step side-to-side, -side. go, and go. Good, good. Big steps. You're more fit, you can handle this. Beginners, keep it slow. Cool yourself down. Great job. And then look for the cool down at the end of the workout. In four, and three, and two, and one. All right, intermediates and advanced. Basic glide, in and out, in and out. Full range motion, body nice and tall. You got it. In, out, in, out, perfect. Squeeze those legs together. Pull and press, pull and press. Nice. 
Keep going, keep going. Pull, pull and press, working the inner and outer. Four more, three more, two, last time. Step off, back to our side to side, but this time you're gonna pull your arms. Step and pull, step and pull. Reach, reach. Good job, good job. And step and pull and pull. Awesome. Bend a little deeper if you want to increase the intensity. But if you need a break, easier step is fine. Good job. In four, and three, and two. Let's go back on. Let's challenge those inner thighs. Hands on your handles, inner thigh pulse. Go. Small and tight, small and tight. It's a tough area of the body to tone. With leg magic, you have the right tool to tone that inner thigh. You can do this. Small, short intervals. Feel your heart rate increasing. That means you're burning lots of calories. And at the same time, activating a lot of muscle. In four, and three, and two. One more. Step off, and let's flex, and pull, and pull. Good. Side to side. Hup, hup. Nice. Good job. Again, always work in a comfortable range, but don't be afraid to challenge yourself. Go and go. Nice, nice. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's step back on. Outer hip and thigh, it's wide. So pulse it wide, stay near the ends of your machine. You should really feel the muscles activating through the outer hip and thigh area as you're pulsing wide. Working your body at different speeds, at different angles, different tempo, challenges the muscles differently. And that's what you get with leg magic, a great lower body routine with various challenges. Awesome job. All right, step off. This time we're gonna flex back and pull those arms. Pull and pull. Good, good. Pull, pull. Don't be afraid to make big movements with those arms to really challenge. Good. Pull and pull and pull. Nice. Keep it going. Four, three, two. All right, let's get back on. Let's lift for six and release for two. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Squeeze your bum. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Awesome, one, two, three, four, five, six. Release, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more time, one, two, three, four, five, six. And release, step off into a knee repeater and pump. Go, and go, and go, and go. You got it. Working in a low impact fashion. Saving your joints in five and four and three and two and switch legs and go. Up and up and up. You got it. Lift and lift. Awesome. Keep lifting. Good job. Just four more and three more, two more and one. Intermediates, this is your last turn on your leg magic. Basic glide with a light grip. So keep your hands close by to begin with. If you feel confident, you can place your hands on your hips, increasing the challenge of your workout. Way to go, if you're at intermediate level, way to hang in there. Fantastic. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's step off. Cycle three, advanced. Stepping side to side. Intermediates, use this as a cool down. 
So just step easy, advance, stay with me. Let's go. Pump and pump. Nice, dig in, get down, get down. Awesome. And step, and step, and step. Good, and good, yes. Keep moving, four, and three, and two, and one. All right, advance, last time for your basic glide. Here we go. Basic glide. Full range in, full range out. Focusing on the inner and the outer thigh. You can do this. Way to go, you advanced people. Congratulations, beginner and intermediate. You did your best. You'll get here. Good job, good job, come on. Pump, nice. In four, and three, and two, and one. Carefully step off, stepping side to side, and pull those arms. Pull, and pull, and pull. We're getting near the end of the workout. You advanced people. Let's dig and dig. Great job. Pull, 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 pull. Nice. You got it. Five, four, three, two. All righty. Let's work those inner thighs. Last time. Advance, last time. Small and tight. Squeeze those muscles. And again, if you're more advanced and you want, feel free to release that handlebar. That'll increase the challenge. But keep them close by. Nice, tall posture. Squeeze those legs in tight toward the center bar. Pull it in. Pull it in. That's it. Great. Five, four, three, two, and release. Step off. Let's flex it back. Flex and flex. Good. That feels nice, releasing those inner thighs with this side-to-side -side action. But at the same time, keeping that heart rate up. High heart rate, high calories. That's right. Go. Com combining aerobic activity with strength training. And go, and go. Awesome. Four, three, two. All right, advance. Outer hip and thigh time. Step on, grab those handles. Nice and tall. Press wide. Aim for the end ramps. Aim for the end ramps. Control your motion. Push, push. Feel the new resistance pulses. There you go. Feel that technology we've added in. Push it wide. You got it. Good job. Nice. Push, push in five, four, three, two, and one. Step back. Let's flex and pull those arms. And pull, and pull. Good job. Pull it back, pull it back. Awesome. Squeeze, squeeze. You got it. Lean side to side. Four, three, two, here comes my favorite. Butt lift. Squeeze and hold, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And release, one, two, three, four, five, six. Release, hold, two, three, four, five, six. You got it, one, two, three, four, five, six. And pull, one, two, three, four, five, six. You got it, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Last chance, one, two, three, four, five, six. And release. Ready for that knee repeater? Here we go. Pump and pump and pump. Good job, good job. Yes. Go. Five, four, three, two, and let's switch it. Go. Up and up. Nice. Go, go, go. Lift that leg, lift that leg up. Nice. Five, four, three, 
two, and one. Advance, this is it. Last move on your leg magic, basic glide, light grip or no grip. More core activation, full range of motion, tall body. You can do it. Squeeze, squeeze, pull and push, pull and push. Last set, come on, come on. Go and go, you can do this. And pump, finish strong. Last five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Grab your handles, step off, and let's just slowly cool down by stepping side to side. Now you have a choice to make. You can either go right to our cool down stretch program, or you might want to do our core program. So if you're done for the day, make sure you do our stretch. If not, we'll join you for the core program. Welcome to the Leg Magic Core Workout. Let's start by warming up our body by a gentle side to side stepping action. Now for this core workout, we're gonna start off with the basic leg magic movements. If you're more advanced, I really encourage you to do a light grip or no grip. If you're just starting, do the same exercises with us, but hang on to your bar. So we're gonna do about 15 seconds of each of the basic exercises, and then we're gonna take it down onto the floor to really challenge your abdominals. This is a great workout to add on to any of your exercise regimes. All right, keep stepping side to side. Let's warm up that body. A warm up is so important. Great, and it doesn't take long to warm up the body. Just simple movements, you got it. Step side to side. I always try to step as wide as my leg magic. Make it big, you got it, you got it. In five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Let's get started. Step onto your leg magic, and again, more advanced. The key to this routine, we're gonna do the basic glide, but we're always gonna have to try a light grip but feel free to grab on any time. Hands can go on your hips as well. Are you ready? Inner thigh pulse, small and tight. Again, we're just gonna move from one exercise to the next. Feel free to put your hands on the bars, but for the most core challenge, you wanna keep the hands off the bars. Ready for the outer hip and thigh, here we go. Pulsing it wide now. Feel the difference in the muscle groups working. And again, keeping a nice tall posture will also work your abdominals. In five, four, three, here we go. Squeeze it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, release. One, two, three, four, five, six, release. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. And this is it, guys. Finish off with that basic glide and then we're gonna take it down onto the floor. Here we go. You can do this, I know it's challenging. Feel those muscles. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Place your hands back on your handles, step off. Slide your leg magic out of the way, and let's go down onto the floor for more abdominal work. We're gonna start, and again, 30 seconds of each exercise. Roll back and start to tap your heels. Now, if this is too challenging, just slide your body up a bit. If it's not challenging enough, roll back a little further. But you should feel the full abdominal wall being activated in this exercise. Good job, keep tapping, keep your upper body quiet. Feel the full wall activating. You got it. In five, four, three, two, one, roll all the way back, and we're gonna go into the Pilates 100. You can keep your feet on the floor, or you can extend your leg, and keep your eye on Julie, because Julie's gonna show you the basic modifications. But with this 100, pump those arms. Great job. Now, the lower your legs, the more intense, so you can make this exercise more challenging, or you can make it easier. Great job. Keep pumping, keep pumping in five, Four, three, two. Now we're gonna go into a basic crunch. In and out, and in and out. 
And again, if you want to make it easier, just keep your feet on the floor. Out and in. Good job. Extend those legs. Reach, pull, reach, pull. Five, four, three, two, and bicycle. Cross, cross. Good job. Make sure you turn side to side. Hit those obliques with this bicycle action. And cross, and cross, and cross, and cross. Good job, good job. Nice. Keep turning and turning and turning. In four, and three, two, back to a crunch with an extension. Bring the knees in and out. And again, I want to remind you, you can modify this. You can do a basic crunch. Just watch Julie. Julie's doing the basic modification. Always work at your own level. Pull and reach. You got it. In and out. Awesome. We're almost there, guys. Working the abs, working the core. Good. In three and two. Back to our Pilates 100. Feet can be on the floor, knees can be up, or for the most advanced, you can extend those legs. Great job. Reach those fingertips, pump the arms. Again, for more challenge, slowly lower the legs. Less challenge, bend the knee, or again, feet on the floor. Work at your own level. Good. In four, three, Two, we're gonna bring the knees in, roll up, and we're gonna pose. Just hold it here, balance. Now, if you find this easy, release your hands. Keep the balance, make those abs work. Great job. If you find this easy, reach your arms and hold. Good job. Hang on for five, four, Three, two, and drop your legs. Roll over, and we're gonna go into a plank position. The plank is a great exercise for your core. Challenges from the abdominals, the obliques, right into your back. What you wanna do is try and maintain a nice straight line from the shoulder through the buttock, through your heels. Suck in your abdominals, activate those muscles. Keep your head in a neutral position. And we got one more exercise until we cool down. And that exercise has got to be the push-up. So one exercise for the upper body. Your choice from the knees or from the toes. Just do your best. Work at your own pace. This is a great exercise for your upper body. And again, try a few from the knees, try a few from the toes. You'll get better at it because the number one key to your success is doing a little bit every day. Four and three, last two and one. Fantastic. Now after any of the workouts, you definitely deserve a good cool down. So make sure you join me for the cool down stretch. Welcome to the Leg Magic Cool Down Program. The cool down should be done after each and every workout. Let's start with the Cobra Pose. You're gonna lie forward, relax your elbows directly underneath your shoulders and gently press your body up as high as you feel comfortable. Again, stretching is different for all of us. So you just wanna press up and if you find that easy, you can slide your arms forward a bit and extend your arms. But again, work within your own comfort level and make sure your shoulders stay relaxed. Just hold on to this for a few more seconds. Great, now slowly relax down, tuck your knees in, reach your arms and sit back into your buttocks. Think about lengthening your back. Think about pushing through the buttock area, reaching your arms and slow down your breathing. Nice inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Again, just relax into this stretch. Good job. 
slowly lift your body up, rounding your back up into the ceiling. Your hands are directly below your shoulders as you suck in your abdominal wall. So really pull in those abdominals. Press your back up to the ceiling and make sure your head is relaxed. From this stretch, you're going to gently release the abdominals down and lift your chin. And again, feel free to close your eyes, enjoy your stretching, and work within your own comfortable level. Good job. From this exercise, we're just going to slowly relax our head back down, pull up into your spine, tuck your toes under, and we're going to go into a downward dog. So you want to start by trying to gently press your heels into the floor. Your legs are straight, and once you've got that, try to slide your head through your arms, and again, relaxing your head. You should feel a really nice stretch into your calves, into your hamstrings, around into your buttocks. Just relax. Hold this stretch for four, three, two. Slowly bend your knees, bring your body back down to your mat. And you're gonna sit forward and we're gonna stretch those inner thighs. Just gonna bring your heels together Slide them in as close as you feel comfortable towards your buttocks and gently press on those inner thighs to give yourself a really nice stretch because leg magic is very effective in challenging the muscles of the inner thigh. Probably one of the most effective inner thigh machines I've been on. Now I want to stress the number one key to exercise success is consistency. We've offered you three programs with leg magic. You've got great variety from strength from cardio to core, so I hope to see you soon.